Livingston Parish Deputy Dennis Perkins pleads guilty today and sentenced to 100 years behind bars. Fox 44's investigative reporter Ariel Salk joins us in the studio. Ariel, this plea came somewhat out of nowhere from my understanding. Is that correct? That's right. For months, both sides told us that they were not going to take a plea. But in a surprising twist, one week before the trial was scheduled to start, Dennis Perkins admitted his guilt. No one has to worry about Dennis Perkins hurting anyone ever again. Former Livingston Parish Sheriff's Deputy Dennis Perkins has agreed to a plea and will serve 100 years in prison. The state's Assistant Attorney General Barry Milligan says he was shocked when the defense called him last week wanting a deal. I'm a little surprised that it did come. Uh, we were ready to go to trial next week and looking forward to that. The disturbing details of this case captured the community's attention in 2019. Perkins admitted guilt to second degree rape, mingling of harmful substances, child pornography and other sexual offenses. Milligan says without the trial, many will be spared from seeing the graphic content. I mean, not just for the victims, but for the jurors who would have had to uh, to watch it. It would have been very disturbing. Assistant Attorney General Eric McClellan says the family is pleased with the deal. They've been through hell and they're just as satisfied to see all of this come to a conclusion and justice prevail so that they can hopefully move forward and not have to look back ever again. Perkins' attorney was not available for an on-camera interview, but in a statement he wrote, Mr. Perkins accepted responsibility for his acts and did not accept responsibility for anything he did not do, and he expressed his sorrow in the courtroom for all persons harmed in the matter. Millian says this sentencing sends a message. If you commit crimes against children, people are coming after you. Now, Perkins was able to have some words or share some words in the courtroom before being carted off back to his jail cell. And he said while sitting in a box for the last three years, Jesus has forgiven him and he is grateful for that. Ariel Salk, Fox 44 News.